Hello everyone, welcome to Flower Mound Town Matters. I'm Kaylin Clement, thanks for joining us. The 4th of July may be the last thing on the minds of residents this time of year, but the town is already getting ready for Flower Mound's annual Independence Fest celebration. The town is excited to announce the two-time Grammy-nominated country duo, Brothers Osborne, will be this year's headlining band. These siblings are carving their own path in country music, calling their style an old-school rock approach, pulling from influences like the Allman Brothers, perfecting their sound while touring with big names like Eric Church, Little Big Town, and Miranda Lambert. Brothers Osborne continues to climb the country charts with songs like Stay a Little Longer, Rum, 21 Summer, and It Ain't My Fault. Independence Fest 2017 is set for Tuesday, July 4th, and will continue to build on the success of previous years with a full day of fun for residents of all ages. The town is currently accepting applications for vendors and sponsors, and that can be found online along with event details at www.flower-mound.com festival. Last year, Independence Fest drew a crowd of more than 25,000 people with attractions including the popular children's parade, a vintage car show, delicious food, live entertainment, and an impressive fireworks show. As always, Independence Fest is completely free. The Flower Mound Fire Department has been a presence out in Western Flower Mound since this past summer when they were offered a temporary home at the new Argyle Middle School while awaiting construction completion of temporary station six. That wait is now over. In mid-February, the community was invited to join the fire department at a celebratory hose uncoupling ceremony at the new temporary fire station six located at 6566 Stonecrest Road in Canyon Falls. Temporary Station 6 is equipped with a paramedic engine, a brush truck operated on behalf of the Texas Intrastate Fire Mutual Aid System, and staffed with three paramedic firefighters. This station will serve 18.3 square miles and approximately 5,000 residents and will reduce emergency response times greatly in the area. After a permanent Station 6 is constructed, which will jointly serve as a police and fire public safety facility, this building will become Public Works Western Operations and Maintenance Center. Flower Mound Police School Resource Officers, also known as SROs, enlisted the help of students from both Flower Mound and Marcus High School's art departments to design a vehicle wrap for their new SRO vehicle. And in mid-February, those students saw their hard work become reality for the very first time. The Flower Mound Police Department seized this 2015 Ford Mustang from a convicted felon for drug charges. The new vehicle will be swapped between the SROs at Marcus and Flower Mound High Schools, in addition to being displayed at special town events and parades. Whether you're welcoming a new pet to the family or simply needing to get your existing pets updated on their vaccinations, you won't want to miss the upcoming low-cost vaccination event at Flower Mound Animal Adoption Center. The event, which is a partnership between Animal Services and the Texas Coalition for Animal Protection, is set for Saturday, April 1st from 10 a.m. to noon. Available vaccinations include rabies for both dogs and cats and a handful of other breed-specific vaccinations as well. No appointment is necessary, however, cats must be in a carrier and dogs must be on a leash. The event is always a busy one each year, and it's important to remember services are given on a first-come, first-served basis, so get in line early. If you'd like more information on town projects, road construction, events, and more, visit the town's website. Also, stay connected to everything Flower Mound by liking our Facebook page and following us on Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to the town's YouTube channel as well to catch all the latest town-produced videos. You're watching Town Matters, a presentation of the Communications Department. I'm Kaylin Clement. Thanks so much for joining us.